Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Da -da -da. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be Daisy's nine month update. So if you'd like to see how this gorgeous little girl is doing, then keep watching. I wish it would slow down honestly I I remember this time last year so well and obviously I was about oh, I was three months away from giving birth and I used to I got to 2016 and I was like oh I'm gonna have a baby this year like I know I'm gonna have a baby this year and it was so exciting but it's just come around so fast and obviously like since Daisy were born, we've been through a lot, haven't we? You in particular, because you're such a brave and strong girl, aren't you? Yeah. But it's just, it's very bittersweet. And I think what it is for me is that obviously I do feel like, especially the first six weeks where she was in the hospital, I feel like we all never really get those weeks back. Hello. And I didn't get those squishy newborn cuddles that I really was longing for after, you know, like a long pregnancy and going through all of that. I just wanted to be with my baby and being separated from her so early on was so painful. And um, so I just got to move her passport out of the way because it's just arrived and she's like, mm, I think I might eat that. Um, let me get a toy, one sec. We've gone with one of her big brother's dinosaurs, which she's very excited about, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, we didn't really, we didn't really get the time that we expected with her. And obviously, like, life is a very long journey and we still got, like, years to come. But sometimes it's quite hard, like, as she gets older to sort of think, like, you know, this is going to be the end of an era with her. And obviously, I've spoken about this before, I am... Um, well, me and Mark were both like a third baby and we're hoping that this might be more of like a 2018-2019 thing. Um, yeah, you're not going to be the littlest forever. And um thing is with that is that, you know, you, you put this plan in your head and you're like, oh, Daisy's going to be our middle child and then we're going to have another baby and this is how it's going to work out. But <laughs> conceiving a baby is not as easy as it's made out to you when you're in like high school and you've been taught about how you have to put condoms all over your body just in case you look at a boy and you get pregnant and it's really not like that so I don't want to just assume that certain things are going to happen for us because they might not and um so you know as far as I know right now Daisy what very well could be our last baby and I want to soak up every moment that I can and as you can see she is still in a sleep suit and she spends a lot of time in sleep suits don't you? You do because I'm just not ready I remember when Bill got too big for sleep suits and the final one he had I think it was 18 to 24 months was the one that he had and it was a white and blue striped one and it had like a little kangaroo pouch on the front and he wore it to death and if I could have cut the feet off and have him still wore it I would have done but I felt bad for him at that point because like you know he was walking around he didn't need a sleep zoo on anymore and pyjamas were way easier when he was so wriggly and nappies were involved and I remember when I folded that up and I've still got it I was so emotional and it's making me feel like that now <laughs> but it's like it's it's a big thing when your baby starts being your baby and I think we've got a while just yet I think it's when they get to around 18 months that it suddenly sort of switches um so we do have we've got another nine months haven't we hey but yeah um so as with last month she's now in size 9 to 12 clothing 9 to 12 month clothing and she fits in them perfectly she's a very long baby as is um as was and is still bill like he's exactly the same he's very very tall and i was a very tall child um up until i hit puberty and then i kind of just stuck at five six um but prior to that i was super tall and um i feel like they might be the same uh, 
Mark is around, I think Mark's like 5'11 or something like that. So I don't think Daisy's going to be massive, massive. But I think she'll be above average maybe. Um, physically, she is crawling around, commando crawling still. And my gosh, can she get about if she wants to. She gets around so quickly and it's quite astonishing. Considering she's still only commando crawling as well and she's not on her knees, you would think that she'd be quite slow, but she's really not. Um, she's recently able to pull herself into sitting, um, a sitting position now. So yesterday, <laughs> Mark had to lower her cot and now she just looks like a really big girl in it, don't you? You do, that dinosaur is so exciting. Um, but she looks ridiculous, it's like she's like in a little baby cage now and she, <laughs> I was getting ready um, before the school run this morning to take Bill to school and I like put her in there to keep her safe, safe with like toys while I had a quick shower and I ran past from like the bathroom to our room and her room's like in the middle and I could just see it and she was like this at the bars at me and I burst out laughing she's she's such a character so yeah that's had to happen just out of safety really because obviously when they can do that you know the next step is like pulling themselves up and trying to climb and she's already trying to do that now the bars are lower so I think that's probably a good thing that we've done it um but again it was very bittersweet but i have to say she loved the novelty of it she went to bed last night and we've obviously been having some tough nights with her teething and she slept through and she was more than happy to be in there and i think she's quite happy to go in because it's like it feels different and it's a bit more fun for her and she's lower down on the ground so she can see more um so you know that might work for your baby too i don't know we've also had her wearing a amber teething anklet which i i can't remember where i got it from but i'll leave a link down below if i remember and um we we had it on for a few days and i wasn't 100 percent sure if it was doing anything but then mark took it off when daisy had a bath and then we just kind of forgot to put it back on so it was left off and then by saturday she was a grump and i don't know if you can see um but she has quite <laughs> pink cheeks although it's not showing very well because the camera's gone a bit um overexposed i think but she's got quite flush cheeks for her and she is still definitely teething she's got a snotty nose as well um and she's just really calm again now it's back on again so i don't know what i'm gonna do is if you'd like to let me know in the comments below but i'll leave it a couple more weeks really and then maybe do a review and tell you what i thought of the amber teething anklets like do they work is it worth getting one that sort of thing so let me know if you'd like one of those and i'll do that for you um other development is pointing she points all the time so it started with like things that she wanted like she would point and i always think like is it a fluke is it just the way your finger is but my friend suzanne came over the other day with um her little boy and her little boy and bill are best friends at school so we were having a brew and the boys were playing daisy was just kind of chilling with us and daisy does this thing where she sticks her tongue out and then you have to do it back because that's what she wants you to do and she'll laugh her head off. Um, so I did it because I'm used to it. And then Suzanne was just sort of sat there like, these two are so weird. And then Daisy went mm, to Suzanne and Suzanne was like, yeah, no, still don't understand what she's doing. And then Daisy went mm, and pointed at her and it was pointing. And then Suzanne did it and then Daisy broke out into a massive grin. And she's ah. doing that to quite a lot of people. She points to like toys that she wants. She'll point to the television if she like wants you to like stop and like hold her in front of it so she can see. She tries to point on phones and like iPads, which is scary. Like she'll try and touch it and stuff. It's crazy. She was changing the focus on my touch screen of my camera the other day, which I was like, no, no, this is enough. You are far too clever. Um, and she points to me and she'll say like, mama. And she can still really only say mama. And I think sometimes she says hiya. And she does babble a lot to herself. But because of her cleft palate, we've been told that she can't really make that many sounds until her cleft repair is due. Um, now, I've done a separate video on this, but you might not watch all of my videos. So I'll kind of quickly mention it here as well. But we got the letter through for her cleft uh, repair surgery. And she has her pre-op on the 9th of February. And the, oh, and the operation is on... 
the 14th of February, which is obviously Valentine's Day. Um, and we're very nervous and we're very anxious about it, but also like I'm quite excited for her and what that will mean. But it's, who like it's giving me like shudders and goosebumps now because it just makes me feel so emotional. Um, she's been doing so well recently and I just feel like, I know it's like gonna be one step back, like four steps forward in that she's gonna go through a lot of pain. She's gonna be in a lot of discomfort and then you know after that then things will really amp up again and it's going to be you know amazing for her uh, but it's just it's quite hard <laughs> she's going to be in recovery from what we've been told for about like she'll be able to come home um within like one to two days possibly more and that depends on how stable her airway is when she comes out of surgery because they can experience a lot of swelling so we could be in for a few nights it just depends and we've got to wait and see but i will update more on that in a separate video for those that like want to know or might have children with cleft palates as well um and then it will take her about two weeks really to get back to the stage where she can eat solid food again so she's going to be miserable because she really hates puree now like with a vengeance she only wants to eat like solid food and she really only wants to feed herself unless it's a yogurt and then she'll quite happily eat a yogurt um and we love the little yo um ones where they're like no added sugar um so they're really good by comparison to others so that's what she has and um yeah that's going to be difficult and i don't think she's going to like it but we're just going to have to persevere and hopefully she can come home from surgery as soon as possible and hopefully she recovers well and as i mentioned before she now has her very own passport because we are going away somewhere really really exciting um not long before her birthday actually in april but i will update on that another time because i just uh i'm well excited um but yeah, she's got a busy few months ahead of her and I'm guessing that the next few steps for her will be pulling herself up on things, which she seems to be trying to do already, which for a baby with stickler syndrome, when the muscle development can be slightly off sometimes, um, is fantastic because she's doing so well physically. Oh, there's a point. Are you going to wave? You say hi. And yeah, that's it really. Oh, are you waving? Yeah? There's no one at the door. <laughs> um... Yeah, and like postpartum to patch it onto the end really, I am doing fine. I turned 29 this week on the 25th of January and I am probably, well I'm lighter than I've been for a very, very, very long time and I'm feeling good. Like I have to say that the thought of her surgery has set me back a little bit but um i know it's sort of like i hate this phrase but it's like a means to an end and i know that things will get better and improve so that's what i need to focus on really um it's just going to take some time isn't it yeah but we're doing we're doing really well like i am absolutely besotted with this baby girl and i just Oh, I love her and I'm so pleased that we had her and that she's part of our little family because I can't imagine life without her now which is crazy to think because she's only been here for nine months and she is still so dinky but I'm excited for our future with her and I wouldn't change a thing about her I really wouldn't because you're just amazing you are aren't you Mwah. you're my fiercely independent but at the same time extremely sociable and slightly clingy little girl and i just think you're great i really do and you're not even listening to me and you don't know what i'm saying do you you just want to eat a dinosaur foot so we are going to love you and leave you thank you so much for watching from me and this little girl and we will see you soon thanks for watching bye bye Good girl.